I'm Andy Malone. I'm a Microsoft MVP and a certified trainer with Microsoft. You know, the other day I did a session on Office 365 groups and I thought there was one piece missing and that's Microsoft 365 dynamic groups. They are absolutely awesome and if you've never used them, they will change your world. Let's take a look. So first of all, before I show you dynamic groups, let me show you the traditional groups in 365. So I'm going to go into the 365 admin center and into groups. What I've done here is I've gone ahead and created a um, Office 365 group called London Sales Team. And I've added in some members to the team. First of all, um, this is referred to as a signing. So a group, I've gone ahead and I've assigned members to the group. Now, when you create the group, it also says, do you want to be a Microsoft team? So do you want to extend the capabilities of 365 groups into a Microsoft team? And you can see that I've not done that here. But if I want to do that, um, there's nothing to stop me clicking onto the Teams tab and just clicking uh, create a team. Now it's an irreversible action, you can't go back, but all it does, um, Office 365 groups are essentially an extensible uh, type of object. So I'm going to just close that down. So that's the first thing. I've just showed you how to assign members to a group. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip over into 365 and in 365, um, you can see that I'm, I've got the London sales team here and uh, I've got my members, so just as before. And if I go into uh, properties of the team, you can see that we've got something called assigned. Now, because this particular subscription is a premium subscription, you can also convert this to be a dynamic user. What do we mean by dynamic users? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my dashboard and you create dynamic groups in 365 here. So I'm gonna go into groups, into Azure AD, and I'm gonna go ahead and create a new group. So uh, it says, what type of group do you want? So I'm just gonna choose security group and I'm gonna call this my uh, Sterling um, in fact, I'll call it my uh, New York. Um, I'll call it my New York sales group. Okay, so this is my New York sales group. You can put in a description in here. And this is the important thing now. You can choose whether to A, assign users to it. You can choose a dynamic user. And because this is an E5 subscription, I can also add devices. Please note that you can only choose one or the other. You cannot have both, all right, in a particular group, not yet anyway. So uh, you, can, uh, you can either have dynamic users or dynamic devices. So for a dynamic user, what we do is we then create a dynamic query because everything's dynamic, right? Get it? So um, I'm gonna go in and I choose the property. So I'm configuring the rule. Uh, we have two sets of tools here, a configuration and a validation. This is a new feature where it will validate the rule just to check that you've done it right. So you can choose a property. So for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to say city. And I'm saying the city is equals to and of course, I'm gonna say New York, okay? So basically, what I'm saying here is anyone who has a user account with a city attribute of New York will automatically become a member of this group, all right? You can also add in an, another expression, so I can add another one, or, so anyone who is in the city equal to New York or um, Manhattan can be a member of this group. Now, the other thing that you can do is you can also do get what we call custom extension uh, properties. This is where, for example, you've downloaded uh, apps into uh, Azure Active Directory and you can extend it to use those apps, okay? It's pretty clever. Now, the nice thing is you also get 
the rules here as well so you can see the actual syntax of the rule so um, when you select these options um, it actually puts the rule syntax in here and you're looking at that and you're thinking hang on that Andy that looks like a little bit like PowerShell you're absolutely right because dynamic groups um, a lot of the features in Azure AD came from PowerShell and uh, just a really good resource by the way um, you can if you go into here you've got all of these how-to guides and one of those how-to guides is how to um, basically uh, do dynamic groups so uh, right here it's got all about the different types of groups the dynamic so you've got managing groups dynamic groups troubleshooting dynamic groups um, absolutely fantastic uh, resources and indeed <clears throat> if you're studying for exams that's often how they find the questions by the way okay so um, I have now created that uh, group um, if I just I'm just going to refresh the page sometimes with groups it can take a little bit of time okay so I'm just going to re reload that page in and if I scroll down you can see that we've got the New York uh, sales group here but if I click in to the group <clears throat> and if I go into properties or members even you can see here um, I, I can have direct members um, but typically my dynamic members uh, have not been added yet so obviously to do that you can uh, do a number of things of course where does it pick that attribute from so I can go into uh, active users I can go into let's say Alex's account here and with Alex's account um, I can say okay um, I want to configure Alex's account and if I scroll down you can see at the moment he's in San Diego so if I change that to New York Alex is now a member of that group now <clears throat> if I go in to look at the group um, just now um, one of the things that you will see uh, is you won't see Alex there um, because uh, there is a polling process in Azure Active Directory and it and it occasionally polls so it's not replicating all the time it takes a little bit of time okay so you can see here that Alex uh, hasn't appeared yet but Alex will appear during the next polling period um, I'm often asked Andy is there a way to force that and the answer is no okay unfortunately not at the moment but that typically how is a dynamic group works so again you can have uh, dynamic groups you can have um, members in the group you can have devices in the group but you can't have both all right so uh, again there are a few gotchas with it but typically if you go up and have a look um, in docs.microsoft.com it's a fantastic resource there you okay. have it Microsoft 365 dynamic groups a really important part of Azure Active Directory I really hope you've enjoyed this session remember as always click that subscribe button up there and get notified of new videos because I'm going to be recording them all the time likewise if there is a particular topic that you're interested in let me know absolutely and remember leave your comments down below okay I really appreciate you visiting my channel and I'll see you next time you stay safe now take care